Hey guys, Captain Matt here. Good to be with you again tonight. We're going to kind of look over some new stuff and some old stuff, and uh, we might as well go to the old stuff first, but you all are very familiar with uh, the Brockwood Shifter. I've had it on videos over and over again. One of my favorite machines. I love it. I, I, I use it regularly, but I use the Brockwood for mostly for large times. Like if I'm going to shift or sift this pile here, this is rough compost. If I'm going to sift that, I pull out the Brockwood and sift it with that. But there are times when I don't want to use the big sifter. I want to use a smaller sifter because especially when I'm now, now that we've transitioned to worm bins, I can do one bin at a time and Jude, my buddy's going to come in and help us out today. And uh, we, we can do one bin at a time and we're going to show you how fast it goes when you have a good sifter along the way. But before we get too far, I want to, I want to show you the sifter. Um, I was a carpenter years ago. I made my living that way for over 20 years. And uh, so we kind of put this thing together. And what we have here is we, first of all, we use white pine, no knots in the pine, really nice. It makes it stronger because you, you bang this around a lot. And there are two different screens here. We have a quarter inch screen and an eighth inch screen over here. And so depending on what I want to do, we'll use one of the two. If we're going to sift for uh, cocoons, we're going to use the one eighth. Um, and if we're just tonight, we're going to use the quarter. So you can only use one at a time. Uh, we designed this so that these fit right in. But tonight we're just going to put this guy aside. But let me just show you something even on the sifter is we got four wheels and we roll it through. The hardware cloth here is stapled on and stapled on really tight and well. We have very, we cleaned up the edges so that we don't cut our fingers. Uh, I'm 72 years old, I think I've said that before, but my skin, the older I get, gets really thin and I cut really easily. So uh, we just made sure that was gonna be all, all taken care of. So now, we're going to uh, use the quarter inch, but I want to put that aside for a minute and just show you the construction here. This is the frame, and the frame um, is just basically a five quarter by eight inch frame. And we took the difference between this board and this board equals a two by eight. So we actually took a, a, a four, a five quarter by eight. I didn't mean to say two by eight, but a five quarter by eight. And we ripped it down to this size here, but we used the leftover as the riding boards. So um, the riding boards are what, as we sift it, the riding boards is, is what the wheels ride on. And it's very important to have that. We also, we screwed it together. We pre-drilled. We never drill into really good wood unless we pre-drill, but we pre-drilled here and uh, put some good long screws in. We always use glue when we're using, doing finer work. We put it together, and once it was all together, the last thing we did is took a router and ran the router around all the edges of the uh, screen frames and the big frame, and then we sanded and sanded and sanded. Took a belt sander out and a vibrator in spots and a little hand sanding, but we bring it to a place so that we're not getting splinters or anything like that in our hands. I have an older sifter, uh, but tonight this is the maiden voyage of the five quarter inch white pine sifter. That's what I wanted to say. The most unique thing about this sifter is it, um, it fits over a tub perfectly. Um, which really helps out immensely. These are the smaller size um, bin at Lowe's, and you can pick them up for about seven, eight bucks, something like that. So it fits right on top. And so we take the, the screen part, and we have two things. Right in here, this is a bin that this is, I have, I'm fattening up some worms in here. And when I'm fattening them up, this is not fattening for sale, this is just pre fattening. I'll just put them aside. And the reason is because they lay cocoons all over the place. And if I don't, then there's babies in there and we're sifting and we're killing babies. So we're going to separate the bedding and the cocoons from the worms using this guy. And what we're going to do then is this over here on this side, we have new soil. 
Oop, this little worm got loose. You want them? You can, oh, 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 again, don't hurt them. So this here is bedding already to receive uh, the worms that we separate. And then I'll put the plastic back on top and I'll put the black plastic on top of the, the bubble wrap plastic. We'll label it. When you're doing 60 bins and you're 72 years old, if you forget to put a label on it, tomorrow you have no idea what's in there. So I always label it. I, I make it, um, I, it has to happen. I've got to label it. So matter of fact, what we're going to do right now is we're going to label this bin because we might forget. So I, I use a color code. My color code is what? Orange is? Uh, for a grow out bin. That's right, dude. So I just throw that on there and then I reach in my pocket and get my knife, which I don't have. Anyone have a knife? Anyone? What's wrong with you guys? You don't carry knives? Okay, so, um, and then we're going to label this. And I always label these, not when I'm going to, I label them the day for, um, for worms that I'm fattening up, I label them the day that I, that I sifted them. For my breeder worms, I label the day that I want that they have to be uh, sifted. So today is it's three. The sixth. Three. Is it the six? Yes, yeah, the six. Okay, three six, and uh, we're going to call that a sifter. So we have it's going to get sifted, and we'll put this aside for now. All right. So when we sift, we're going to pop it in here. Now, one of the problems is this: is when you use this sifter or any other sifter, if your soil is too moist, you are going to get all clogged up even in a one quarter. This soil here is, is it's borderline. Now, there's two things that you can do. If I was going to take the bedding from here, if, this, if I had left this long enough that it was all uh, worm castings, and it's pretty close to it, they've been in here, I actually let this one go a little longer, but it's been in here well over three weeks. Um, the the uh, most of it is is turned into is been eaten and turned into castings. But if you're going to sell the castings, you're not going to want to do what I'm doing. I'm going to dry it out by putting some sifted peat moss in with it. Now here's the thing: if you're going to sell it and you know you have castings here. What you do then is take the plastic off about a week before you're going to sift and, and let it dry out a little bit. And if you let it dry out, then you'll be ready for sifting. But on this one, we're going to just, I'm just, I'm a little wet on this guy. So I'm going to take some peat moss. Again, I strain the big pieces out of it and I'm just going to mix it up. And the peat moss dries this out. It just absorbs water that fast and it makes the difference. And that's about, that's it. Okay, and Jude, here's where you're going to get in. You're going to fill this thing. Okay, so just, you can scoop yeah, and scoop. fill whatever and then give it to me. E easy, you got wor yeah. live worms in there. Don't yeah. fill it though, fill it, fill it. Yes, yes, all the way. Okay, good. And what we'll do is we'll just dump it right into there. And then what I do is this. Boom, 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 boom. What do we have left? Worms and a few larger pieces that are not going to go through. We put them right over here and we do it again. Guys, I want to tell you something. We're about to sift an entire bin in a very short period of time because Jude is on the ball, man. I mean, he's, he, I haven't wasted a minute of time here with Jude. And we just take the worms, pour them back over into the new bedding, and we do it again. You want to do that, you don't want the worms sitting here too long because they will crawl right down. Okay, and Luke, come on over here, and here's what we have we have the worms here. We're just, this looks like more about 400 worms. And now we'll just take the worms, we'll spread them out just a touch, put our bubble wrap with the bubbles facing down on, give them a little, um, a little shield. So we can do it again if you want, or let's follow you. There we go. 
That's it. That's it. And that one is labeled and ready to go. Now what we're going to do is show you, we're going to uh, we'll lift this, we'll lift this right off. And what we have here is the worms have been separated. But if you look closely, and we'll try to get some uh, close, close looks, we'll be showing you some cocoons. And, um, and we have a lot of baby worms in here. So some of the cocoons had this hatched. One, this one. You got a cocoon there? Yeah. Okay. And if we keep looking in the same area, we're going to find cocoons. You can, here's a cocoon here, right, right there. Yep, right there's here. another one right there. They're, they're all over the place. But see, here's a baby worm. Look at that, man. Okay, that guy hatched, and he, the nice thing about this is when they do hatch, they, the babies will fall through, and generally we're only putting adults back in, and that's what we want. We do not want too many babies in with us. So this soil now is ready, and we're going to take it, and we're going to put it over in with the um, cocoons and the babies over in the uh, nursery. So I forgot to share one thing with you guys also, is this lip right here, let's turn it right up. This is what the wheels ride on, this one and this one. And they're screwed from here, they're screwed right in, they're sucked right into that. And then when we put the, um, the strainer on, it rides on top of that. So, so it's not wiggling and going all over the place. What I love about it, my other shifter or my other small sifter didn't fit on top of this and I was always moving and it was falling and jumping all over the place but this is just something else now we um, mark my son does the design work and uh, mark has given us he took this and he did the plans and the plans for this sifter if you can if you have some carpentry abilities uh, mark gives you every every cut every what to buy how to take it uh, how to cut it, how to get the screen on, how to get the wheels on, everything is there for you. And it's, it's online as of this video, those plans are out there uh, tonight. So that's a deal. And in the, de in the description below, there's a link and you can get the link and the link are the plans for this. And by the way, the plans are free. And that's exciting. We just, you know, when, when it doesn't cost us a whole bunch, we just like to do it for the worm community. Now, we got something very, very exciting coming up. And I just want to tell you about it because it's, it's coming. We are going to have an entire mock-up of my farmer's market booth sitting right in this spot here. And, uh, and we have something that we, we have worked on really hard for the worm community. And that is everything that we have on that um, uh, stand or, or booth, um, we are giving, to, giving you the plans for it for free. We have a banner, it's a nine foot banner. Uh, uh, all you have to do is hit a button on the computer and you can pull the whole package out. We have a upper banner that rides on top of our tent. We have a lower banner that rides from tabletop to about here, describes the worm, worms and how they affect plants. And then we have uh, all brand new labels, uh, labels for our worm castings, for our worm tea, a generic label, right, for, for, other, for other stuff. And uh, it is a package that if you want to start a farmer's market business, we are going to equip you. And again, this is not, there's no cost to it. This is a gift to the worm community. You hit a button, you download the thing, you can print it at home if you want to print it, or you take it to your local printer, he or she will print it, or a banner maker, and they will do it for you. Don't miss next video because it is so gorgeous. I, I just can't wait to show you our booth. It is wonderful, and a lot of time went in. We, we paid designers to design this for you guys. And we are thrilled to be able to uh, present this to you. So I'm just teasing you a little bit. So guys, that's it. I think tonight, um, it's, it's just, it is so much of a joy for us to work with you guys. And you guys give back so much as you, you go into the forum and the discussions that are happening. We are just so thrilled. 
You say, well, why are you just giving all this stuff away? Because we're worm people, and that's what worm people do. But I uh, can't wait to show you what's going on with the farmer's market. And it's so complete that you will be able to, a week later, if you wanted to, open up your own farmer's market and have all your labeling, everything, total package, all ready to go. Come on and meet us on the next video. It's a real joy to be with you guys. Thanks so much. God bless you. Have a great evening.